Hey guys. <laughs> it's your host, Weirdy Weirderson, today. We're gonna do something a little different today. We are going to Woodburn Eyes. Um, I don't normally do like really specific videos like this, but I thought we'd give it a shot. Let's just talk about how to Woodburn Eyes and sort of some of the shading and the details that go into Woodburning Eyes. Um, yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay guys, so I've got a template here with some very expressive eyes and we are going to burn them together and I'm going to kind of walk you through some steps on getting some really great shading and details on eyes. If this is your first time with this channel, welcome to Pyrocrafters where we talk about all things wood burning and I try to encourage creativity through pyrography. And if that sounds like your jam, don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell so you can get notified when I load a new video. And if you want to like and comment, that would be great. It's a great way to support my channel uh, so that I can keep making content. And I've got merch. Don't forget the merch. Um, I've got some logo shirts and hoodies and some different things below, tumblers and some jogging pants, which I thought was just super cool. Um, and some other stuff. And I'm loading new designs every week because I try to load up different stuff, not just logo, but you know, different pyrography themed t-shirts. So if you love pyrography and all of that jazz, uh, there should be like a little thing below here, like a little merch shelf below the video. And uh, you can look at all this stuff, um, all the merch that's there below, or you can click the link in the description of the video. Uh, which will take you to my merch shop and you can kind of check all that out. Okay, on to the thing. So we're gonna talk about eyes today. Um, I got my template from Pexels, um, which is a, a great site for getting some imagery for free. And yeah, check that link below if you wanna check that out. Um, they have a lot of great royalty free imagery that you can use for stuff like this. So here we go, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna stop talking and we're going to burn now. I told you I was weird today. I'm weirdy McWeird person today, so just expect it. Just know that it's coming, okay? All right, everybody, so let's start looking at getting this project started. So I downloaded this picture from pexels.com. Um, I put the link below if you wanna go over there and download it yourself and follow along, or if you wanna use it to practice later. And I've taped it. This is just a, a scrap piece of wood. Um, I used it to test out some colors and some stuff from another project. So I thought I would use that for this. And I'm gonna transfer the template using my carbon. And, uh, this scrap is poplar. So it's nice soft wood and it's gonna be great for shading some detail. Now when I outline eyes or really want to outline anything, anything that's got um, a realistic look to it. I don't outline every single detail. I only give myself reference points. So like the edges of her eyebrows here. And I'm kind of guessing where some of that edge is just because of the shape of her face. Something's crawling on me. <laughs> And then this shadow here along her nose. And then we've got a pretty definite line right here where the shadow of the hood of her eye meets the lid. And I'm gonna trace the outside of the iris here. And then the pupil. And I'm gonna leave that nice bright white spot there. This line of her eye, this line, and the edge of her lid here. And that's really it. That's really all I'm gonna trace. Okay, so let's peel this back. Uh, that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna take this off and let's just set it here as a reference. There we go. 
can kind of follow along there. And I'm going to be using my True Art wood burner today. This is the flat shader tip I have loaded. Let's start burning. So I'm going to start at a 50. I may need to adjust from there. So I'm going to start with her eyebrow. And you can see there's definite like hair strokes in there. You can see all the little tiny strokes. So I'm going to turn my shader on its side here and make little hair strokes. I'm going to go in the same direction as her hair in the picture. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. 50 is not quite enough. Let's go up to 60. So that would be the same as like a four or a five on a machine that has, you know, a heat setting of like zero to 10, like a Colwood or um, an Optima. Okay, so let's go back here. I'm just gonna follow along my carbon marks here and I'm gonna add all the little hair strokes and I'm just making a ton of these tiny little strokes. When I'm burning stuff like this, I don't always follow the image exactly. I kind of just fill in I don't like look at every single little hair. I just kind of make hair strokes and I stay in the same direction as the hair and the image. So no matter what kind of hair you're burning, if it's eyebrows like this, or maybe it's short animal fur or something, you want to stay in the same direction as the image. Okay, then about right here, it starts to get a little looser. Like in this area, it's pretty dense. Her hair is pretty dense. I'm going to add a couple of little darker strokes in here for depth. And then right here, it starts to break loose a little bit. Back over here. Then it, it starts to turn, the direction starts to turn from this, and then it goes around this way. So I'm going to turn my wand here and start to kind of angle the strokes in this direction. Still just kind of using the edge of my burner here. Kind of comes all the way down here. Now, this is like the the whole brow right here, but she's got a couple of like strays that kind of come down. So we're gonna add those in. It's gonna make it look more realistic, not quite so static. You don't want to have that like hard line there. You want a, a few little sort of hairs that kind of come out and you get a couple that kind of go this way there we go and same thing up here you got a couple that kind of come out and it's just going to add a little a layer of sort of realism to it have a couple of strays Okay, so let's look at 
this area right here. This is a really dark area, this shadow above the hood of her eye. And I've, I've made this carbon mark right here to indicate where I need to start fading out. So right here, I'm gonna follow the edge of this. And I haven't touched my heat. I'm just kind of going a little bit slower and I'm letting my tip hit the edge. I mean, hit the surface of the wood a little bit longer. And I'm gonna use the flat side here and just use this sort of circular motion so that my pen is not sitting on the surface in one spot too long. And I'm gonna follow this kind of imaginary ridge. Let me just kind of quick sketch out this kind of ridge right here. And I'm just gonna follow along this ridge. Now we've got this nice deep shadow here, this dark, dark burn. So right here, I'm gonna start to kind of fade it out. And I'm just gonna continue to use that circular motion. I'm just gonna go a little bit faster so the pen doesn't have as much time to burn a deep color. And I'm just gonna kind of fade out up into her, up into her brow. Try to get it as even as possible because it's got a nice shade here. This the shade kind of shapes the edge of where her her eye bone, this bone of her eye, and then kind of comes down and shapes her nose. So we want a good shade there, good great gradient shade that transitions there. Okay, so that's pretty even. Now let's kind of work our way over here. Right here, it gets really bright, this edge of her brow bone, and then right here along this line, it stays pretty dark. So what I'm gonna do is just shade this little area right here. This is the hood of her eyelid where it sinks down. This is really dark. So now I'm going to start to fade this out. I'm just going to use my circular motion here and kind of create a gradient that fades from dark to light. And I'm just going to keep going a little bit faster and a little bit faster and a little bit faster to create that gradient of shade. This is really light, a really light area, so I'm not gonna shade it very much. This area right here, where it fades, we wanna make sure it has that sort of rounded look where you can tell it's her eye is kind of rounding off her brow bone down into the, the hood of her eyelid. We're just going to create this gradient and go upward into the lighter shades and try to get it as even as possible. And it's okay to go over it a bunch of times. You want to build up to the color that you want. You don't want to burn it too much too quickly. You want to go over it and over it and over it and over it until you build up to the shade that you want and it gets it's nice and even. That's why these shading pieces take so long, because you've got to build up to it.
this area right here is a little bit more shaded so I'm going to add a little bit more color right here I'm just going to kind of work our way over now I feel like we've got some good color here so I'm just going to try to even it out a little bit go over it a little bit more until I get a nice even shade going So now we've got a brow and a brow bone nice and shaded. I am going to zoom in a little bit for this next bit so you can really see how I do this pupil and the lid because that's super, super important. Okay, so you can still see the reference photo here that I'm following, but I've kind of zoomed into the eye here so you can see what I'm doing. So let's look at her lid really dark right here really really bright there's some light reflecting off of there and then it kind of fades down into a darker shade over here so we're just going to follow that pattern this is the edge of her lid you can tell she's got like I don't know if she's got mascara on or what her lashes are really dark so right here I'm just going to kind of do this sort of pulling motion and just drag my tip across the surface to kind of create this layered line look in the lid. And I'm just going to keep going over it and going over it until I get the color that I want. Okay, so for the brighter area, I'm going to turn my heat down. I'm going to be at a, like a 45 here because I, I don't want to make a lot of strokes right here. It's really bright. I just want to make enough so that you can kind of see some detail there. And I'm going to pull from this area, the darker area, and I'm going to pull the lighter strokes over. Kind of even these out. And then just kind of pull some of these over like this. My heat is low enough that I don't have to worry about over burning and I can just keep going over it and keep going slower until I get a nice color there. I'm going to try to blend these marks a little better. They're a little harsh sitting over here. I kind of want them to fade over into the lighter area there we go that looks a little better a little bit more blended okay so I'm just gonna kind of keep making these little strokes like this over here it's not burning the wood a lot it's just kind of adding some texture there and then I'm gonna add a couple just a couple of Deep, deeper lines and darker lines just so that the brighter lighter ones stand out more you want some contrast in there okay and that's good for this area I'm gonna be I'm gonna call that good and then right here we're gonna start fading back down into the darker bit so I'm gonna just kind of create a little bit of a darker area so that we can start fading down into the darker shade. I'm going to turn my heat back up. I'm going to go back up to, let's do 55. Okay. So right here, you can see right here in the corner, it's real dark. All of this right here is real dark. So I'm just going to add a nice deep shade. Just go over it and go over it real slow until I get a nice deep color okay, now I'm going to pull some lines again and these are going to be darker we're going to 
fade into this lighter area. Okay, so now we've got a nice dark area here, a dark area here, and a nice bright area here giving us the hood of that eye. Now let's look here. This is where her eyelashes are. You can't really see any details of the lashes, but it's really, really dark. I'm going to turn my heat up a little bit. Let's, I'm going to go up to 65 just so we can burn this dark area pretty quickly. And I'm going to just be real careful on the edge of that hood we just burnt. And I'm just going to fill in this whole little area. It's just a nice deep burn. There's not, not much shade there. Fifty again. So I'm just going to use the edge of my tip here and just very easily go over the edge of the hood and just kind of soften that edge. Just kind of want to soften it a little bit. There we go. Now then. Okay. Let's talk about the iris, you guys. This is the iris and the pupil. This is arguably the most important part of the eye. This is what people look at first. Your eyes go immediately to that pupil. So when I'm doing this, I burn the dark, the darkest part first. I always burn the pupil first. And when I do this on the template, I trace the inside of the pupil to give myself some room to go outward here in a second and I'll show you what I mean by that here in a minute but we're just going to fill this in with this super dark burn Okay, this little bit right here, that is the reflection of light in her eye, so we're not going to mess with that. It comes, it comes around like this, and it leaves a nice big bright white spot right there in her eye. And we're just going to leave that bait. We're not going to touch it. Okay, now I'm going to burn the edge of her eyeball, her iris, not her eyeball. You know what I mean. You know what I mean when I don't say things right. Okay, so for this, you want to get a nice crisp edge. You don't want a soft line here. You want a nice crisp iris line. Okay, and that's as dark as I'm going to burn it. So when I'm burning eyeballs, I start with the pupil inside and I pull my burner across to the edge of the iris. And it just kind of automatically creates all these little bits of the iris. And I'm just going to pull across and go in the direction of the eye. You know, you don't want to burn it like this. You want to keep burning it in the direction it goes. And just keep burning lines. It takes a little while, it takes a little bit. She has really bright eyes. The color in the image, her eyes are blue. So there's not a lot of deep shade here. Her eyes are super bright. I, I don't know if they photoshopped that or what, but 
there's not a lot of a lot of color there so they're super light super bright so we're just going to keep pulling our pin across the iris here and get some nice marks in the eye so I'm pretty happy with that pretty happy with those marks I'm going to do it in the other direction now I'm going to start from the edge and pull from this direction and that's going to give us some nice lines from the other side This part here where her lashes are it's a little bit darker so I'm going to burn a little bit more depth up here and then just start pulling keep pulling until you get it kind of where you want it there'll be a point when you're burning realistic images where it starts to look real it'll start it'll turn from drawing to have a, a more realistic look to it and you'll you'll just kind of know as you're burning these like okay no that looks good that's it right there I can stop adding detail And you don't want the pupil to be a hard line. You want it to kind of fade into the iris a little bit. So there we go. I'm super happy with that. Um, I could come back and add some white to this little bit right here. I'm going to kind of soften it a little bit so it's not quite such a hard line. But you could add... Um, could add a little bit of just a light bit of white paint there to kind of make it pop even more okay so now we're just going to finish out oh let me move this quit knocking the camera around okay so now we're just going to finish out the bottom of the eye this is her bottom lid so i'm just going to kind of follow along the carbon mark here She's got these little bits right here in the corner of her eye. I mean, we all have those. It's not like she's the only person that has those. I just don't know what they're called. I'm just going to add those in real quick like that. Okay, the white of our eye is not that stark white. It is, it's not that void of detail. It's not a lot of detail. They're pretty bright. Uh, but I'm going to add just a little bit of shadowing around the top of her hood just the tiniest little bit don't want it to be too dark so I'm gonna go pretty fast and then just kind of fade downward like this you see how it's just ever so slightly added a little bit of detail and it's taken that sort of starkness away and kind of added just enough shadow to give it some more realism And I'm going to do the same thing right here. Just kind of soften this a little bit. I feel like they might have photoshopped this picture to where it looked like her eyes were super bright. N nobody's eyes are that bright. <laughs> There we go. So we've got a little bit of detail in her eye. So her lid is kind of right here. So I'm just going to kind of rough sketch this. The flat part of her lid kind of comes around over here. 
and it has a mix of tones. It's like a, um, it's kind of dark right here, and then it kind of fades. Let's kind of soften this a little bit. fades to a lighter color right there and then it gets a little bit darker here on the edge and then right here it's a little bit a little bit on the darker side Now right here, you've got all these like bright white areas where the light's kind of hitting. So I'm going to try to avoid burning there. We're going to add just a few marks for her eyelashes. This is where I've got these carbon marks here. And we may come back and soften it up a little bit here in a minute. And then right here, it gets pretty dark. And then there's this line right here that comes down. She got them lines under them eyes like I do. I feel you, girl. I feel you. Get them late in life lines right there. Okay. I'm just going to bring these up. And we're going to fade these out. I know they look harsh and dark right now. Um, can you see? there yeah they look kind of harsh and dark right now but we're gonna fade them out and they won't look quite so harsh so I'm just gonna use my circular motion here and just kind of fade them out Super dark all the way around right here. But she's got some lashes here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn my heat up just a little bit so we can add these dark lashes. And I'm just gonna start adding some marks in here. Let's go back down. I'm going to kind of soften this up a little bit. I feel like this line here is too harsh. It needs to be softened. So 
probably fade in up here. Okay, so let's kind of work out this little area right here. It is super, super light, and I've got my heat turned down to 48. So really, all we need to do is kind of fade out the little bits that we've already burned. Like right here, these kind of need to be cleaned up and kind of faded a little bit more. There we go. This area right here. Okay, and there we go. We had one eye done. It's a nice finish. We got some good details in there. We can take our sand eraser and kind of erase away these carbon marks. I won't do that right now because it'll shake the bejesus out of the camera. And you won't be able to see me do it, but we've got some nice detail. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other eye and I'm going to speed up the camera because you can see we're, we're already quite a long ways into this video and it took us quite a while just to do that one eye. So I'm going to let you do this one by yourself. This is going to give you the opportunity to kind of take what we did in the other one, what we learned in this one, and apply it here. So I'm going to burn it here, but I'm just going to speed it up.